You're better at cooking than you think, and you don't need a recipe. Let's talk about veg curry. Super easy. This is not about making a curry paste. You make this dish as you go. It takes 10 minutes. Let's do this. Every curry needs something to conduct the flavor. Fat helps. Coconut milk is the easiest thing. Butter could be cream, whatever. Aromatics, that's the base of the curry. Going garlic, ginger. You can go gal and gal. You can go lemongrass. Spices make a curry, but you can go with anything. I'm going with turmeric because it gives that nice visual cue I'm eating a curry. I'm also going to throw in a couple lime leaves that I have, but in this case, you can use coriander, cumin, whatever you need to do. The thing that makes a curry a curry, a little bit of heat, fresh chili. You can go Thai bird's eye. I have serranos left over from making a Mexican dish. Going to use that. I like crunch, fastest path for me with a curry, toasted peanuts. You can go tortilla chips, potato chips, other nuts, whatever you got in your cupboards that's crunchy. Salt, you can get creative, add things like fish sauce, add a little umami at the same time. I'm going sea salt. Always want to check the sweetness. If it needs a little bit, add a little bit of honey. In this case, I think the coconut milk is going to be sweet enough. Finally, a little acid. So I'm going lime juice. You can go lemon, you can go whatever acid you got. Someone asked me about congruency of flavor. And what I think that means is how do you actually balance flavors? I'm going to break it down for you really quick. Fat is your conductor. So fat is conducting the flavor of the aromatics and the spices and a bit of the heat. The heat is going to get offset by sweet. Sweet and heat offset each other. Salt and acid offset each other. That's the simplest way to think about it. Let's make this. Cooking's incredible and it's fun. The better you get, the more you enjoy doing it. So start doing it. Lifelong skill, you got.